Sagittarius, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon. Follow and like for a daily pick a card. We're using the Lover's Oracle for your Oracle reading. I've got uh, Archangel Raphael for some angel magic. And I am doing my Small Gilded Tarot by Sarah Marchetti for your tarot reading. There's no gender in tarot. This is for entertainment purposes only, Sagittarius. I could be pulling on your sun sign. I could be pulling on your moon sign. I could be pulling on your rising. If it doesn't resonate, maybe I'm talking to the cross watcher. If not, then it's just not your reading. You can tell me, hey, it's not my reading. Come back next time. Maybe it'll resonate a little bit more. Let's see, what does Raphael have to say to you? He has to say, stay positive. He has to say that to everybody, I think. He's saying, well, we're saying to him, thank you for helping me be optimistic and take the appropriate action steps that will support my health. Yes, being positive. I want to be different. Hmm, okay. some Aquarian energy, we've got Seven of Swords, we've got a Betrayer, we have a Liar, we have a Cheater, and we have a Thief. They don't have to be a Thief. They don't have to be taking money, but they could take your time, they could take your emotions, they can take your energy, Energy Vampire, Succubus, Incubus. We have those people out there that do that. You go, you see them, you're completely drained. So, you know, somebody that dumps their problems on you, but when you have to talk about something, they're never around. They got a lot of secrets. Got a hell of a lot of secrets. But what's done in the dark comes to the light, right? Seven of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. If you happen to be blessed in the bank, or have a decent job or maybe have just gotten a little stipend or something. Somebody could be paying attention to what you are doing. I don't have that I don't have this I don't have the card spying yet. But somebody might be paying maybe you're maybe you're traveling a little bit more. Maybe you're going on a couple of road trips. Weekend weekend getaways. Maybe you're buying a new pair of trainers. A little bit of Cost a little bit of money. Maybe you got a new computer. Maybe you maybe you went all out for Christmas. A little bit more than you usually do. Somebody is paying attention to your wallet. Got some fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. This could be you. Or this could be the person that we're talking about. Knight of Wands is uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. They're there for the fun. If there's a party, that Knight of Wands is going to be there. But if there's a problem, they're going to be nowhere around. Somebody is greatly inspired they want to get extremely creative. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I need my inhaler. They want to become extremely creative because they're greatly inspired by you in the bedroom. Let's 
tackle that on that for a minute. I'm not convinced that you are the Knight of Wands. We will see. Okay. So we have someone who is not of not of good character. Okay. Somebody very sneaky. Self-absorbed, looks out for themselves, protects themselves, they lie, they cheat, they betray, they steal. Self-preservation, they come first always, extremely selfish. They have secrets, secrets that they don't know if you know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. They don't want you to know. They're paying attention to your money. You're also paying attention to your money. But you're paying attention to everything else. This is earth energy. Earth energy just does not pay attention to pentacles, which it's, it's obvious because we're talking about pentacles, but earth energy pays attention to everything. This encompasses all of it. Pentacles, earth energy rather, encompasses your health, your finances, your possessions, all of it, everything. You are contemplating, where am I going to put my money, my, my possessions, my body, my spirit, my energy? Where am I going to invest that? Where do I plant my seeds to get the best yield? I think you may have been extremely attracted to someone. Very, very, very attracted. I think you're the Knight of Wands, male or female. And I think that it may have been, it could have started very casually, very attractive. You may not have even, you, you may not have had sex. You may not have had intimacy. You might not have gotten that far. Maybe sexting, but you may not have actually been intimate. Because this person is, again, we have earth energy. This person holds back. I think they weaponize their feelings. Their throat chakra is cut off. You could have expressed how you felt, and they shut down. You didn't hear from them for a couple of days, a week. It's like they ghosted you. Their heart chakra is completely shut down. Mm -mm. Nope. That's not open to you at all. Their crown chakra, they think of things their way, and they aren't open to any other ideas. They're very set in their ways. And they're also, I don't know if they have money problems. They could be very wealthy, but that could be because they're very stingy. They're very cheap because they have a very tight hold on their pentacles. They're holding coins very tightly. Could be because they have a problem with money and they don't have it to spend or they just don't want to spend it. They compared you with other people of, I like Sag. Sag is okay, but I like this one over here too. What can this one give me? You may not have known. You may have found out afterwards. There could have been tension because after you expressed that you found this person attractive and then you didn't hear anything, then it kind of it could have kind of made things weird. 
they may not have thought that you had enough for them. Not that you weren't enough for them, which maybe that too, but maybe you didn't have enough money for them. Because don't forget, this person and all of their little quirks is all about themselves. So it's not a equal, we're not on equal footing here in this relationship. This isn't a, hey, let's date and let's get to know each other, okay? And hey, I, I've got, you know, I've got a car payment, I'm, I'm working on that, and yeah, I've got student loans, we're doing, this isn't, this isn't getting to date and getting to know each other. This, that's not what this is here. This person is very self-absorbed, out for themselves. Doesn't have your back at all. Doesn't have anybody's back except themselves. Looking to see what do you have, and I don't think you measured up in their eyes. And I'm just, I'm just telling you, Sag. You, I mean, I don't think honestly, I don't think they got to know you well enough. I think you could have possibly been a hit it and quit it, but I don't think they hit it because I don't think you measured up enough. I think they, they, you were a passing fancy. Yeah, I could hit it, but you know something? I see something better. I'm not even going to bother. I'm not going to waste my energy because I see something better over there. So you were a, oh, I'm taking all my toys back. No, no, Saj, Saj doesn't have enough for me to even waste my energy or waste my um, ejaculate. If you want to, want me to be, you know, vulgar, I'm not even going to, to do that. So, nope, they put you in competition. They compared you with others. You came up wanting, and um, now you're defensive. And I don't blame you because that's a real shit-ass thing to do. Because I don't think there was any type of, you know, I really don't want to date right now, or I met somebody else. There was no type of closure at all. They're just a shithead. And they left you out in the cold thinking that you don't have enough. I didn't even see that, honest to God. Thinking that you don't have enough money. I just pulled the message from what I have here, and that's at the bottom of the deck. But what they see, I don't know how they see, if they're on your social media, if you live in the same town and you see each other at church, grocery store, kids are in the same soccer team, parent-teacher conference, something, they see you glow up. They see you have, you know, hit the big time. Somehow they have seen something that your wheel of fortune has turned and you're on the up and up. And saggy darlings, my darlings, you have put them in a mental prison. Hip, hip, hooray. Because anybody that wants to be that fucking shallow, we already know what they are. They've shown you who they are. But anybody that wants to treat somebody like this, no. They don't have to love us. Repeat after me. They don't have to love us, but we'll be damned if they're going to disrespect us. So we're going to stay positive. And if this one's saying, I want to be different, you go be different with the people that you tried to put Sagittarius in competition with. Because we don't want your kind around here. We're not for you. We're not for you, little Mr. Four of Pentacles. So you are defensive. I'm not going to pull a card for, well, you know what, I will. Why not? Your, your advice is to heal from this. Because yes, you are defensive. Before you can get with anybody else, you have to heal. Because this is hurtful. This was, this was, this was done purposely. This was like somebody had a spreadsheet out. And we have, what do we have? We have five of wands. Like they had five choices. And they had a spreadsheet. And they ticked off. The good things of Sag, the good things of this one, the good things of an Aries, the good things of a Pisces, and you came up wanting. And they did it on purpose. It's like they set out 
to see which one fits them better and how could they hurt you. I don't know why, other than they're a shithead. What is Sag's advice? What is the advice for Sagittarius? What is the advice for Sagittarius? What is the advice for Sagittarius? If you want to DM me, I'll tell you how to put them in a jar. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> they're not your wish fulfillment. And they're an alcoholic. Interesting. Interesting. What does that tell us? How does... How does the knight, how does the seven of swords feel I'm not going to take this but it does want to fall out the high priestess they think of that you're very sexy and mysterious but it didn't it will try to fall how does the seven of swords how does Sagittarius's person feel about Sagittarius tried to fall. They thought you're mysterious and sexy. They are getting a new perspective on this situation. Well, ain't that just the cat's ass? Saggy, you need to heal. And I'm going to tell you, stay defensive. Stay on your toes. Have compassion. And I know what they did was shitty. But you have compassion. We always have compassion. Because when we have compassion, we stand in our power. We have compassion for these shitheads. Because that gives us our blessings. We have compassion because we are not them. They are who they are. And we have pity for them for the same damn reason. Because they are who they are. Pity them. I want to be different. Good luck. Good luck with that. Sagittarius. Let me know if it resonated. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon. Follow for a daily pick-a-card.